right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks. All right, man, Kevin Durant. I waited to do this video. Kevin Durant, in, in my opinion, is the most mentally weak uh, professional athlete that I've ever witnessed. And um, he went on the record saying that, you know, he ain't messing with OKC no more on how it ended and how he hates the circus around the NBA. I'll link some article, links in the description. Let's talk about it. We back Goodfella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. We under two months out to the NBA season kick off, so make sure you check out our NBA playlist. Uh, we got NBA Live playlist, NBA 101. We got NBA, uh, regular NBA, NBA talk, like video format like this, so check it out, man. And I can't wait till the season start. I do a big preview show as I've done for the NFL. And every week we record a live podcast right here on the channel. And I'll find a platform so you don't have to, you know, listen to YouTube and keep it open. So you can just listen to it on the podcast. So we on the uh we on the run trying to find that out. But um but yeah, uh let's talk about the Oklahoma City thing first. He said that, you know, basically he didn't get the reception when he went back to Oklahoma City that he chose to. Now, my stance on Kevin Durant was He's a free agent. He can go wherever you want to go. Some people got it in mind. Well, Kevin Durant blew a 3-1, a 3-1 lead to uh, go to state, and then he joined the team. But people don't mention how Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson went to, to the Hamptons and informed the Hampton Fives to beg Kevin Durant to come to Oklahoma City, I mean, to go to state. Nobody, hey, Shannon Sharp sit here and say this and that. Skip Bayless say this and that. Stephen A. Smith say this and that. Everybody that's psychoanalyzing Kevin Durant or say this and that. But you know what? What I don't fuck with on, on TV for real is them leaving out information. You got all these researchers here. I mean, you know, Shannon Sharp bring it up. But then people don't don't remember that they begged him to come to o uh, Golden State. He was going back to Oklahoma City. I will defend him on that. They begged him. And he was in a fragile state of mind, I guess, because he was tired of playing with Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook played a role in here, too. He is the most self, one of the most selfish athletes I, I ever heard of. People talking about Kobe. Kobe ain't got shit on fucking Russell Westbrook. When Westbrook, well, the worst thing that could have happened for that franchise, it wasn't them not paying James Harden just five million instead, of whatever it was. The worst thing that happened for that franchise was when Kevin Durant, just being in Oklahoma City, not Seattle, but obviously moving to Seattle from Oklahoma, to Oklahoma City was the worst thing that happened to the franchise or to the city of Seattle. But the worst thing that happened for that for that team was when Kevin Durant got an MVP. That that didn't motivate Russell Westbrook to to want to win. That motivated Russell Westbrook for individual accomplishment to match Kevin Durant in MVPs and show it was his team. It was a power struggle. I don't blame Kevin Durant for leaving. He's a free agent. He can go wherever the fuck he want to go. That's always been my stance. LeBron couldn't beat Boston, so he ran to Miami so Dwayne Wade to teach him how to win. But that ain't the same thing as going to the team. It don't matter who fucking beat you. For me, it don't matter. He figured Kevin Durant knew with Russell Westbrook he wasn't going to win how Russell Westbrook was playing. Now what he's seen several years ago, people seeing now last year with, with, with him and Paul George. He's not, he not going to win shit with him. You know what I'm saying? People don't criticize LeBron. Couldn't beat Dwight Howard in the Easter Conference Finals. Oh, the, the Spurs uh, Finals. Oh, oh, he wasn't ready. I'm like trying to hear that. This nigga sat here and, 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 and formed a super team, and they wasn't even super. They lost to the Mavericks. <laughs> you know why they, they mad at KD? Because he formed a super team, and they were super. <laughs> he actually lived up to the, to, the, to the bill, but I don't knock him for leaving Oklahoma City. He was going to stay, but people don't talk about Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson coming here to talk him in the stand. And they're going to Golden State. You know, everybody just think Kevin Durant, man. It, it, obviously, he one of them dudes that that's that's like timid. He holds everybody. He want to make everybody happy. And they just got the right one. He not mentally like tough. I ain't gonna say mentally tough, but you could persuade persuade him pretty easily. And they persuaded him to come to Golden State. So let's not act like Golden, Kevin Durant came knocking at their door. So I want to come in and get an easy championship. And without Kevin Durant, they wouldn't have repeated. And I think that's what hurt, hurt a lot of people's souls 
that that love LeBron. The media love LeBron because LeBron bring the most revenue. You watch on YouTube when the Lakers play, it's a thousand old live commentary Laker games. Oh, live commentary Laker game. You got a thousand of these NBA channels that don't talk shit else about Lakers, 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 because it's the best revenue. To get the most the most eyes on you. You know? But they don't like Kevin Durant because he dominated. Had he not went to Golden State, they begged him to come. LeBron, LeBron probably would have won the next three. Kevin Durant was the only man not named Kawhi Leonard that could, that could have joined Golden State to stop LeBron. And they got the right one. Can't get mad at it. But you know what pissed me off and where I kind of feel him at is that they used him. That's what they're not talking about. They used him. They used him to, re- to remain relevant. They was a one-hit wonder. They weren't supposed to win that championship. Had Kyrie and Kevin Love been healthy, they wouldn't have won the one they won. I'm going to just keep it 100. They used Kevin Durant to solidify their legacies. And then when he was about to bounce and, and do his own thing, they start hating on him. Oh, uh, he, ain't, he ain't really hurt. They they were saying that shit about all oh, Kevin Durant can play. He thinking about his future. But it was this. They ain't need Kevin Durant versus Houston. Oh, they ain't need him versus Portland. But when, when when fire got on that ass, oh, we need him now. Oh, he really ain't hurt. He went out there, and once again, like I said, he easily persu- you easy can persuade him. He ain't mentally that tough. He let the he let the rumors and the the off the off the records uh, uh, articles from the athletics. He let the players pressure him to play. Equal Dollar said that. So he been mentally he been he mentally went through the washer. And what do you think of his mind? If I stayed in Oklahoma City, it wouldn't have been that bad. But you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, you can't. He get mad at the city, of Oklahoma. He went there. He took a million dollars. Make sure it got there. You know, and at the end of the day, he come back. And they turn on him. He not looking at it like ain't no loyalty. Ain't no loyalty. No matter if you black or white, these fans don't care about you. If you're not producing on the floor, then they ready to move on to the next. Look at Andrew Luck. Gave his entire body to the uh, Indianapolis. And they booed him when he going off the field. So, you know, don't take it personal. <laughs> don't take it personal. Did Monica say that? Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. They never cared about your black ass. If you wasn't putting ball, you wasn't scoring scoring points through that hoop or putting balls up and dunking them, they don't care about you. He need to get past that people care about him, him emotionally and physically. It's only attached because you dribble a basketball. You know, and then you 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 shunning the city of Oklahoma, you shunning the organ, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder organization, so be it. Without you and Russell Westbrook there, they got a long rebuild. But you know what? You keep that private. You wait till you retire, write a memoir, or write an autobiography, a biography or some shit. Then you, then you talk about that. You know? But then he says he don't like the NBA because it's a circus. And the politics and all that. It sounds like he ain't happy. It's a lot of people out there to kill to be in Kevin Durant position. Seven foot. Can shoot. One of the most gifted scorers I, the gifted scorer I've ever seen. Most gifted scorer I've ever seen. He got a lot of money, but he ain't happy. See, money can't buy you happiness. You know what? I don't think he's going to be happy in Brooklyn either, no matter if he returned to form or don't. Kevin Durant is looking to be accepted. He like that girl with daddy issues. You know what I'm saying? She hop around from stick to stick, trying to find comfort, trying to hump comfort around till she find that simpleton nigga that's going to give her comfort. But she's still going to hop stick to stick, but he's just going to stick by her. That's just what it boiled down to. I had a friend like that in college. She was like that. You know what I'm saying? He like he got issues that ain't gonna never be healed. Maybe time to heal the, the wounds down the uh, down the down the line. He wanna be accepted. And him and Kyrie seem cool. And they just seem they just weird as a motherfucker. But the NBA is a circus, but it's good for business. But he's just in a dark place. And I've been there before, man. As a black as a fellow black man, sometimes you be in a dark place and can't nothing cheer you up. Not a Benny Hanna's delight. <laughs> Not a blizzard from Dairy Queen. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes no amount of money can cheer you up. Sometimes you just in that crevice. You in that abyss. Sometimes you in a funky mood. You just in a dark mood. And you just sit there and, and you just it just hurt. You just think about you don't trust nobody. You vulnerable. And you don't really have nobody to vent to. And for him, he around here venting with against fans on social media. He going to the social, he going to the, the, the media news sites and shit. 
You know, low, low key, you need to keep that inside, get a psychologist. And then when you retire and you overcome this, then you can just, you know, you can tell the world what you was going through. But, you know, for him, he can't hold it. He can't just, you know, hold it in or whatever. He can't deal with the success. You know, and it's a lot of people that are killed to be in this position. But once it's gone, he don't recover from this Achilles, you know, it's gone, bro. You know, then you're going to miss the game. I think I think this Achilles thing in the grand scheme of the great thing to happen for him. He get away from basketball and he going to find out how much he missed the sport and how much he missed the circus known as the NBA. But it is what it is, man. And a lot of black men deal with some similar things that he's dealing with, man. You know, he just speaking openly about it, which making him look weak. But that's the kind of thing society put on men. We ain't supposed to show our emotions. We ain't supposed to talk about our problems in public, which he shouldn't be. But, hey, it is what it is. I'll link those articles in the description. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, or video requests. Don't forget we on social media as well. All the links in the description. Appreciate the love and support. I'll link those uh, articles there as well. One time.